My favorite kind of art that I do is uh, surreal. I do photorealistic art where I do a painting that looks exactly like a photograph. I love reality when it comes to, to people. And I also love the classic art, da, da Vinci, people like that. Uh, one goal I've always wanted to do was redo the Mona Lisa. I love Leonardo da Vinci. What a great man he was. What an inventor. He was, he was everything. He was a doctor. He was a, you know, he invented weapons. He was a hell of an artist. He, he did it all. He, I'd love to have known that man. But when it comes down to it, nobody knows who the Mona Lisa was. I personally think she was some fat, dumpy prostitute that he drove off the street and painted. I can't imagine him sleeping with her. Because to me, she's just a dump. She's fat, no neck. I don't think she's good looking at all. So I always wanted to redo the Mona Lisa. And I did finish it. This is my version of the Mona Lisa, what I always wanted to paint. The name of the painting, I call it uh, Mona's Daughter, Bona Lisa. And this is what I think the Mona Lisa should have looked like. If you look real close, and if the camera is showing it, her blouse is actually transparent. And if you look real close, you can actually see her breast. Okay, I'm a dog, but that's my form of art. I only see women as beautiful. And like I said, I don't think the original Mona Lisa was good looking at all. Maybe in her day, okay. I'm personally not into fat chicks, so this is my version of the Mona Lisa. This painting is pretty much all done in the original style. Uh, it was done mostly with all powdered, colored powders, like Da Vinci used back then. They used egg white as a binder with the powders. And that's pretty much what this is. A lot of wax pencil was used in this, a lot of wax, and uh, ink. A lot of uh, ink colors were used in it also. And the face in that is done with original makeup, women's makeup. Da Vinci, like I say, is one, what an amazing man. But I hope someday this painting will be just as famous as his and who knows, maybe it'll be hanging in the Louvre next to the original.